So if you have looked for a CDP or customer data platform before, or if you've just spent a considerable amount of time in the data or MarTech space, then you've probably heard of the word identity resolution. It's, it's one of the most popular buzzwords in the category today. There's this global pro problem of identity resolution, which is basically how do you tie together all these different data sources you have and address a single customer in a consolidated way. That being said, what I've found is that there's a lot of confusion around what identity resolution really means. I mean, for some companies, this can be a super simple problem that you kind of knock out and don't really worry about. For other companies and use cases, this can be a whole you know, six month sort of customer 360 project. First, let's start with a quick example. So let's imagine you're a marketer at a company like Nike and you want to send a re-engagement campaign to customers who have viewed the same product five or 10 times without making a purchase. The fundamental question that, that always comes up is what is a customer in the first place? I might have a lot of tables of information or, or streams of data at my company that represent a customer. I might have a separate table in my data warehouse that has data about customers using my website versus a separate table or feed of data about uh, mobile users and all their actions and activities. And fundamentally, you know, without tying those data sets together and understanding what's the customer across my various data sources, then I'm gonna have problems when using my data. What do those problems look like? I mean, from an analytics use case, you can imagine that you could be greatly overcounting your customer base. So as a brand, you might think that you have 5 million users, when in reality, you actually have 3 million users because a bunch of those users are using multiple devices. You haven't reconciled that. And then when you think about it from a marketing campaign perspective, I'm searching for the same product in my mobile app a couple times and then search for it on the Nike website one time. And you're looking that, at that as two separate customers. Then that customer might not be targeted in the campaign, even though overall they've searched for the product and viewed it a ton of times and should be targeted for the re-engagement campaign. When you think about the process of identity resolution, so when a company says they want to solve this problem internally, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but ultimately what they want is a single table that sits in something like a data warehouse or a customer data platform that has all the identifiers for a customer you know, merged together. So you know, a single row that says all the customer's email addresses, phone numbers, cookies, mobile identifiers, and the list sort of goes on so that you have a full picture of the customer when you're running analytics or running marketing campaigns. And that's really the crux of, of an IDR. It's creating that graph of all the identifiers and resolving it to a single view of the customer. There's really two ways of solving identity resolution today. One is solving this internally. This is pretty common. You know, a data team like a data analytics team or a data engineering team that's looking to, to create a, a global identifier for your customers and, you know, go through all the different tables and sources of data that you have and figure out how it ties together. The other way to solve identity resolution is to uh, is to buy something like a CDP that you know claims to solve this whole identity resolution problem for your brand in an out of the box way. And as a marketing team, I mean, the idea of a CDP and, and buying a customer data platform to go solve your identity resolution problem can be really appealing. I mean, think about it. Marketing teams are always low on engineering and IT bandwidth. They're, they're always waiting on other technical teams to help them get stuff done. So if there's an out of the box solution to this problem, I mean, that's super appealing. In practice, it's really hard to just solve the problem like of identity resolution in an out of the box way. And why is that? If you do buy a CDP for identity resolution, yes, it comes with out of the box algorithms to solve the problem of identity resolution, but the problem is that CDPs can only operate on data that was built for and sent to the CDP in the first place. Everything kind of revolves around the CDP's own way to track data, you know, tracking data about your users through their APIs and SDKs that your engineers can use on your mobile app or your website, or even to pull data out of things like data warehouses. But ultimately, all that data needs to be formatted in a way that the CDP can understand. They're quite fragile and inflexible when it comes to identity resolution. So while these solutions are you know, phrased as out-of-the-box solutions online and seem really appealing at first, it's never that simple at companies. And what happens at like an enterprise scale is it can be really hard to get all your data into another platform, right? We found cases where 
customers would have to have over you know 200 hours of professional services just to you know figure out and fix up their identity graphs that had problems due to incomplete or broken you know data collection or tracking for the purpose of the CDP. Recently, our team at Hitech actually came out with a new solution and you can think of it as a hybrid solution. It doesn't stray away from the fact that there's some work that you as a company need to do in order to solve problems like identity resolution. It has a lot of out of the box capabilities just like CDPs, but it also gives companies the flexibility to be able to use all kinds of data they have around their organization or in their data warehouse to customize the identity resolution rules so that you can make rules that make sense for your company and your use case. It's really a tool that just sits on top of your data warehouse, whether that's Snowflake or Google BigQuery or an Amazon or Microsoft solution. It sits directly on top of your data warehouse and it's completely warehouse native. So it's a simple tool, it's a visual tool, and basically it allows uh, you to pick different data sources. So going back to that Nike example, your mobile users, your web users, your point of sale system users, you know, your database of users here, and select different identifiers and rules for how these data sets should be combined together. It has out of the box models that you can use and it's fully customizable and flexible. There's a few different reasons why I think identity resolution is much better solved in a warehouse native way. You own all the data. You can use all the data that already exists at your company, which is a really big value prop because while some solutions sound out of the box, with the long implementation cycles that they actually take, like a CDP can take you know at least six to 12 months to get your first use cases going, they're not so out of the box in reality. The other reason that it's beneficial to solve identity resolution in a warehouse native way is that it's way more flexible. You can actually build rules and you know customize the algorithm, again, in a visual, very easy to use way to match your business or your use case. There's no vendor lock-in, your data is yours to keep, and since that data is actually all written back to the warehouse, well, not just written back to the warehouse, but built in the warehouse, you get to use the identity graph across your whole business. So you can use it for activation, you can use it for analytics that you're doing in your BI tools, and you can use it for even non-marketing use cases. We released a no-code UI visual tool for this. If you wanna check it out, go to hightouch.com and book a demo, and we'd be happy to walk you through the solution.